Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and this one's on uh, the Tarakava, uh, or the Rockies called the Tarakava, from 2001, of course. So on the front of each man, you will see a picture of the set, of the set in action, and the old style Bonacle logo, Tarakava, ate and up, and also that neat symbol. Well, that kind of neat symbol. Of Matanui and the corrupted Kanoe Howl mask. Then the Lego Technic logo right there. And set number 8549. And, and right, on the back side of both of them is a picture of the sets in action. Of like the punching motions and knocking the masks off. Well, not at all the advertisements in this one. Just the last step. Oh, what? And this other one of which, same thing. And of course, this of which, there's one quite thicker than the other, since has instructions for both this one, and also for the combiner model, Tarakava Nui, of course. And now, on to this one of which. So one of the Tarakavas helps. And of course, like the other Rahis of this year, where there's just two in each set and they go against each other. But of course, different color schemes for that. And this being a quite nice black and blue with some light gray around. Of course. So now for this bottom part of which. Uh, let me zoom in. Which, as you see, it's consisted of mostly a large tread and made of different technic bits to it. And, of course, a large tread going around in a triangle, of course. But, and kind of similarly to what we had with uh, uh, Buwaka and Kani Bra, also from this year, but in a much larger kind of shape to it. But, however, as you do have a couple of tall Mata feet in blue, like we had on Gali, and that going with these two bits. And also these little technic bits here that act as a kind of a kickstand and stand to it. But it can flip right up and unfortunately without it can't stand up of course. But uh, but without it you can like roll it around and they do roll quite well. And of course have these interesting uh, uh, shock absorber kind of pieces with the metal springs in them, which kind of nice to see here, or, of course. And onto this uh, center body part, which is just Technic uh, brick kind of pieces, but with a few traditional system plates in there, and of course making a little stripe in it. And also nice to see these kind of two by four pieces is that have an archway kind of bit to it, which also nice to see in this set, but also great for mocking. And of course, why I have them on here is so you, when you're holding it, you can like get a good grip on it. Because if it weren't there, then you'd be you'd kind of then you'd be pricking, get pricked by the uh, uh, spiky studs on there. So great job for that. And of course, these. The one bit that's kind of random that sticks out are the little uh, notches here that are in yellow. For you to punch, do the punching motion, of course. But as for these arms here, which have these large plates that are technically paneling on the sides, and also a couple beams that there are, and held by a, the old style of rubber bands, which wear out over time, unless you had the later white rubber bands and it ends with the like little missile kind of piece that used for the old style launchers but connected right off to there making a fist kind of piece to it of which great use of that piece but, uh, although unfortunately I'm not sure if it's just me but on this other side of which this uh, panel kind of slides off a little bit easily okay. And as for the head part, which as you see does have 
couple tubes going through it and also has a couple of orange studs on there making the eyes and for the and of course as you see there's the Kanoe Bakari Onua Takua's masks but in this blue color but when you look at from other sides of which it looks like a large snout of course and also you have kind of this in the mouth part that's made of two white golly hooks but nice to see these pieces in white for, nice for mocking and of course another one of those shock absorber pieces but the, but it's in gray for that so it's one of those hit it features where hit the mouth and try and hit the mask a bit of course I think it's, that is about it with and now you're probably wondering why I covered this blue one first is since of course it was using one of the online flash mocking the online flash animations or better known as online game which is when it had when Golly kind of went up against this and kind of fought it underwater of course but interestingly is that in that the mask piece of which was actually the Kanohi the Kanohi Weru uh, from the Nui Rama sets or set but instead this has the Bakari Although it would have been nice if that piece was included in this set as well, but oh well, whatever. But you can add that one on if you want to, but yeah. And that's about it with this blue tar kava. And on to the more interesting one, which is black and turquoise, or otherwise teal. Oh, it's great to see a lot of teal in one set. Even though nowadays we do see that on Monkey Kid and so on. But although for the time it was kind of rare for that, but kind of same with purple on one of the Dewey Jagas, of course. Like so now, first off onto the uh, tread part, of which same kind of design, but the wheel pieces in turquoise, and also instead of Toamata feet, you have the small technic paneling panels, of course, and also. Kind of same designs, and also do get a couple of long plates in that color, and also these rounded plate or rounded bricks in that color as well. And then same features, and also one big highlight this Technic beam, and also, but mostly, this Toamata kind of foot piece in turquoise coloring, of which great piece to use for mocking, of course. And also do get on the mouth part of which, which consists of the uh, with Toa Onua's or Mata Onua's claw piece in white. Also, like we saw in the Nui Jaga. And also do have these technic bits or plates on top. Also with tubes going through, but leading up to red studs for the eyes. And a couple of technic tube, or I mean, beaming kind of pieces on there. And also do got the Kanoe Kakama, Pohatu and, o and Hyuki's mask, also in turquoise. Oh, it's also great to see there. And so with the main feature, or compared to, or well compared to this, to the other Tarakava, as you can see, Kind of the same, but just different color schemes and a few swapped bits, like the Technic paneling and Toamata feet on this blue one, which on the turquoise one has swapped, of course, and of course different head builds for that to to obviously be not as repetitive, and of course one good reason why these kind of pieces are used here is to make it more unique and also to use with the combiner model Tarakava Nui, of course. Yeah. And so how the main feature is that you push on these and makes the arms uh, punch around. It's kind of like the classic one, classic toy called a uh, Rock of Sock and Robots. So it's kind of, or like what Lego had in the 90s, 1990s called Cyber Slam, where it was that with the weird uh, figures that were put in them, of course. 
but how for the main feature is that if you like like try try and punch at the mouth part and would snap on down and you then can just just punch the mask off honestly so the playability of this quite fun but although unfortunately also forgot to say with the blue one is that sometimes this this kind of part slides down kind of easily and kind of bouncing the mouth in place but although I think there should be like a little technic stopper bit in there so wouldn't have to worry about it quite as much but I'm sure you can add that on if you wanted but yeah Overall vert. Overall, this is which a great set. Like good color schemes and playing a turquoise and also good colors of coloring of the mask pieces and also great playability, like with the punching action and almost kinda of, probably the most best out of all the Rahis of all the Rahis of this wave. Well, along with the Maz, which are the remote controlled ones, obviously. And I guess Milwaukee and King brought almost as fun as well. But at least this is probably one of the best in terms of like color scheme and also interesting builds to them. And also outstanding playability. But, and of course, like all those sets, kind of similar, but at least they do have a little bit of difference between them. And, and once again, Nice to see a whole bunch of turquoise in one set, which, although in recent times, we have been seeing returning, of course, but yeah. So at least these were kind of a sign at the times. So well, at least for a little while, where you got plenty of stuff for the price point that it was at the time, but yeah. And of course, and of course I'm sure back in 2001, it was a great set. But nowadays, still quite is. It's, of course. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of it. And for those who haven't and still are looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.